Hey everyone, it's Crafty Music Lover here, and today I'm going to be filming my charm collection video. For those of you who have been following me on Instagram, you have seen my charm collection picture. So here it is. Um, what you're looking at right now are two of my charm collection boxes. This is my original charm collection box. Um, it's the smaller one. And then right underneath it are my Disney charm collection box. If you guys want a video on my Disney charms, just let me know in the comment section down below and I will do that for you. So before I get started on this video, I just wanted to let you guys know um, if you have any questions about my charms or um, how I got started in, craft, in clay crafting or anything like that, just um, read the description box before asking any questions. One, if you hear um, like car noises, I'm filming right beside my bedroom window, so I apologize for that if you do hear um, like street noises. And we'll go ahead and get started. So this is my charm collection box. This is one that I've had for years and years and years. Um, so we'll just go ahead and open it up and get started. So first we will get started with this section right here which is my Lord of the Rings charms. So I have Samwise Gamgee. This is the Night Guard. This is the Witch King. I have Pippin, Spilbo Baggins, and then we have Legolas. This is Mary. Then we have Aragorn, Frodo. Boromir. And lastly, we have Gimli. Moving on to this next section is my Harry Potter and Sanrio inspired charms. So I have a couple of these Harry Potter donuts. So I have the trio here, and then I have Voldemort inspired by the book. I have a couple of these. Um, bottle charms, memory bottle charms. So I have Snape's Memories. This is Unicorn Blood. And then a Love Potion. So then lastly for Harry Potter charms, I have a couple of Chibis. So this is Hermione and Ron. And then I have Ginny Weasley. Next, I have um, a Hedwig cupcake inspired by the helicopter. And then lastly for Harry Potter charms, I just have this little flat back um, bezel with the Deathly Hallows symbol on them. And they're missing a couple of little uh, embellishments. And then I have my Sanrio inspired charms. So I have these two books inspired by the Cool Race Bunnies tutorial on YouTube. So I have Kiratori and Sabo Kappa. Then I have a Rilakkuma Donut. I have the Do Domo, I think is his name, Cupcake. Then I have a Tuxedo Sam little cupcake. And the bottom or the base of the cupcake is painted. And then lastly, I have this itty bitty teeny tiny treat, Molong treat. So this next section is um, my Hello Kitty inspired pastries and um, items. So I have a couple of these donuts. So I have this donut with chocolate icing. I have this marbled donut. I have this old fashioned Hello Kitty donut, like Boston cream pie. And then I have this donut with a bite taken out of it. Next, I have some various pastries. So I have this marshmallow donut, or marshmallow pastry, and then this Hello Kitty fortune cookie. So I have this pink cupcake with mint frosting, this plain white cupcake, 
And lastly, this little marbled wrapper cupcake. I have a Mike Wazowski, in, or Hello Kitty in a Mike Wazowski costume. This is a very old charm. I have this little Hello Kitty cake roll. And then lastly, I have this um, goth Hello Kitty. And I use Cool Rice Bunny's um, method for the blood um, coming out of the bow. This next section is my uh, chibi charms and um, be the gold charms. So various stuff, I guess. Um, I have this little chibi girl and it's like a flat back chibi. I have the Be the Gold Charms from Lilac, or sorry, from Little Surprises YT's tutorial. So I can't remember the names of them, I'm so sorry, but I have this Circus Dude, the Mamagoma, a little Tuxedo Sam, then I have Hello Kitty, and then lastly I have the Gold, um, little sign. Next I have some little chibis. So I have this itty bitty teeny tiny chibi of myself. It's not focusing because it's small. Then I have this little elephant girl. And then I have this little penguin girl. Then I have these two fairy charms, so I have this girl in a fairy outfit, like um, fairy inspired. She's a little dirty because I wore her as a necklace for a little bit. And then I have this other fairy girl with very, very fragile wings. This next section right here are character inspired charms, so I have some One Direction ones. So these are One Direction inspired donuts. This cupcake with Tom on the top. And then this is the same head, um, but it's bigger. And this was the original one that I did. And then this is the remake. So that's what it looks like. I also have a Tom and Jerry donut set. I have these two Doctor Who charms. So this is Matt Smith, the 11th Doctor, 12th Doctor, 11th Doctor. And then a little adipose. And little surprises, YT actually has a tutorial on this adipose. Then I have these two um, char like figurines inspired by the Facebook game Bake Shop Drop. And they are huge. They're like the size of my thumb. These are one of the first charms that I ever made. This Wonder Woman inspired cupcake. And lastly, I have this itty bitty teeny tiny little minion cake roll. Next are YouTube inspired um, chibis. So first I have a YouTube cupcake here. Dan is not on fire and then I have amazing Phil that's heart and then lastly I have beauty by Sienna so next are charms that I made um, from my own design so they're charms that I came up with myself so we have a couple of my minchies the original design Oops. Um, and I will leave an explanation as to how I came up with these characters and why I did in the description box below if you guys care to see that. Then I have a Minchi with an Easter basket, so an Easter themed Minchi. I have a Halloween themed Minchi, and I use Cool Race Bunny's tutorial on YouTube to make the brains. This is a Valentine's inspired Minchi. 
This is a turkey inspired minchi, and again I use Cool Rice Bunny's uh, tutorial on the turkey. Then I have two of these holiday themed minchis. Next I have some element inspired charms. So this one is supposed to be air. This is supposed to be water. This is supposed to be earth. Or sorry, fire. And this one is supposed to be earth. And then lastly in this section, I have emoji inspired people. Um, so this is supposed to be the love emoji. This one is supposed to be a nervous or um, anxious emoji. And then this is supposed to be a mischievous emoji. This next section, um, these next two sections actually are inanimate objects. So I have this paperclip charm inspired by Cool Race Bunnies. These two bow charms, or bow earrings, and I also have two of these bow earrings. I have a couple of these um, kawaii mushrooms. Uh, I have, I think, three more in the other section. I have a book charm that's Wreck This Journal. And then I have another kawaii book charm. This little um, bag charm, inspired by a book bag I actually used to own. This is a spaceship inspired charm. A shooting star inspired charm. I have these, whoops, dropped one. I have these two granite bowls. This little apple dust plug. This kawaii earth. This is supposed to be like an inner tube or a floater tube. Um, this is a little kawaii rock with a flower on its head. And then lastly, I have these playing deck inspired um, little um, charms. So I have this little kawaii robot, a little puzzle piece, and I'm pretty sure I used X-Rex Surfaces tutorial or Kawaii Studios a little block of polymer clay, this little um, cookie inspired camera, this little sun and rainbow themed like chain. I have another one of those bows but this one is not on an earring base. This little purse. I have another handful of those little kawaii mushrooms. So I have this one, and this was the first one I ever did. And then I also have one, but it's not a kawaii mushroom, it's got a little fairy on top and it's really hard to see. This little box of crayons. And then this is a little um, alien inspired charm. I have another one of those kawaii books. This is supposed to be a turtle on top of a charm, but I think somehow, some way, the charm came out. Um, but this is inspired by Cool Race Bunny's panda on top of a cupcake charm, but I did a turtle instead. I have a couple of these little bowling ball inspired charms. I have a little kawaii poop. This little kawaii eraser, and it's itty bitty teeny tiny. This little melting ice cube. Oh, you can't see that. There we go. And then lastly, I have another one of those kawaii rocks. This next section is my um, fragile charms and my kawaii rock collection. This little bouncy house inspired figurine ish charm. I have a mermaid fin tail. Looks like that. 
I have a couple of these little flat back cabbage on, I guess you could say charms. Um, they are using lace and gold pigment. This little um, seashell cookie, or not seashell, seahorse cookie, inspired by Sugar Charms Shop. And this is one of my favorite charms I have ever made, and it was the first charm that I ever did detailing this intricate on. And if you can see all the detailing there. This um, set of fairy wings, and it is extremely thin and very fragile. <laughs> And then lastly, I have my entire collection of kawaii rocks, so I'll go through these very quickly. And again, I'll go through these kind of quickly. This one. This throwing up one. This heart-shaped one. This next section is a few more cupcakes and realistic inspired foods. So I have this ice cream scoop. This little tart. This Boston cream, oopsie, Boston cream cupcake. Or my donut, sorry. We have this little donut with frosting. And then I have this mint donut with frosting. And I have this little cruller style donut. I think it's a cruller at least. This cupcake with mint frosting and a cherry. This red velvet cupcake. This cupcake with strawberry frosting and a twirled wrapper. This cupcake with a mint wrapper and chocolate frosting. This cupcake, this is the first cupcake I ever made and it's supposed to be red velvet inspired. This little bottle with strawberries. This cheesecake charm and if you can see that it is very well textured. I have another ice cream scoop. This strawberry frappuccino Starbucks charm. This little pretzel. This Reese's Pieces and it's got a bite taken out of it. These two little itty bitty teeny tiny um, watermelon slices from that watermelon cupcake that I showed you in the last one. And then lastly I have these little sweet tart inspired candy charms. And then this one is textured to look like it's got a bite taking out of it. This next section is kawaii foods. So I have two of these Nick L. Nip wax bottle charms inspired by Cool Rice Bunnies. I have, whoa, I dropped one. I have this scared little cookie. These two little fruit inspired charms. This little donut with a mustache, a top hat, and a monocle. This little kawaii donut. These two popsicle charms. And one of them is sad because he's got a bite taken out of it. This little wasabi slice, like swirled slice. This little cake roll um, inspired little kawaii charm. I have a couple of these macaroni noodles inspired by Cool Rice Bunnies. This is what they all look like. I have a little um, kawaii macaron, macaroon. I have this um, toboggan styled uh, cake roll. 
and this is my own design. And then lastly, I just have this little kawaii um, clay baking set, um, and I'm pretty sure XOX Rufus or Kawaii Studios inspired me to do this, but I'm not 100% sure. Next are all of my octopi, or octopus people things. Um, so I have this one um, clinging to a bottle charm, and this is the bottom of it. And if you hear noises in the background, it's my dog. I have this large figurine um, little octopus charm. And I can't remember what game it's inspired by, but I will leave a picture reference to what it's inspired by. And then lastly, I just have this little um, taco little octopus charm inspired by Cool Race Buddies. This next section is animal charms. So I have this little narwhal, a lion cupcake, this uh, sock monkey charm. It's one of my favorites. Unicorn charm. And it's got a little lollipop. This little itty bitty teeny tiny elephant charm. Um, Panda mochi charm inspired by lilac sprinkles. This little dinosaur chibi inspired by a cup of cake TV. This simplistic bunny inspired by Cool Race Bunnies. Oops. I have this flatback penguin charm. And then lastly, I have this little um, koala charm and his ear fell off. This next section is my Halloween charms, and then I have a couple of animal charms in here. So I have these two flatback um, Hello Kitty charms um, inspired by Cool Race Bunnies again. And then again, inspired by Cool Race Bunnies, I have this zombie cupcake with brains on the top, and it's made with glow-in-the-dark clay, and I forgot to mention, this one is made with glow-in-the-dark clay as well. And then again, Cool Race Bunnies chibi tutorial. So that's all for the Halloween charms, and then I have these uh, three, two, sorry, two <laughs> uh, animal charms. So I have this large um, panda bear chibi. He's chubby panda, and I love him so much, but he is very dirty. <laughs> and then I have this um, snail tea holder. And then the final section is my holiday charms. So I have this snowman little cake roll. These two, well not two, this pair of cross earrings. This little um, cross tart. This is an Easter inspired cupcake with some uh, Easter eggs in it. Then I have this little Santa hat ornament charm. I have a couple of these ornament charms here. So I have this one inspired by Cool Race Bunnies. And then I have these four little like the round ornament ball ones with different faces and colors. Another um, little cake roll charm inspired by, I believe it's the Hollycopter. This um, Hollyberry Tart inspired food. I have this cinnamon roll cake charm, again inspired by the Hollycopter. This is a New Year's cupcake and this is my birth year and it is, I believe, I looked it up and I think it's the year of the tiger or the year of the... Um, cheetah. I'm pretty sure it's the year of the tiger. So that's what it looks like. I have this little Peeps cupcake charm. And then lastly I have this turkey sitting on a platter inspired by one of Cool Race Bunny's little update videos. So that was my charm collection update video. Let me know what your favorite charm was in the comment section down below. Um, also, I have a couple of charms in here that I want to remake, so if you guys have any suggestions, also leave that in the comment section down below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and again, I just, I hope you guys will um, follow me along with my remakes, and I definitely have gotten better than these charms and the charms in my Disney box so hopefully that's an inspiration to at least uh, some of you uh, it's an inspiration to me so um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video bye